Black holes tear apart gigantic stars. Quasars spin at terrifying speeds and emit powerful bursts of energy. Nebulas are filled with colorful displays, like fireworks from new stars. Galaxies come in every possible color and size. All of these things are found in the universe. But it's not endless, there's a clear limit. Picture it like a big wall, and also a completely empty space. Now let's go on a trip to that wall. First, our universe is like a giant matryoshka doll. If you open it, you will find a smaller one inside a galaxy. Within that is an even smaller doll, our solar system. And the tiniest doll is Earth. Each doll has boundaries that we will surpass on our journey. To achieve that, we'll need the biggest spaceship. And it has to travel at a speed 100 times faster than the speed of light. You get on the spaceship and have a meal. Our first boundary is 100 kilometers above sea level. This number is 10 times the altitude of a passenger airplane. That place is called the Karman Line, separating Earth's atmosphere from space. Now we fly even farther to the edge of our solar system. We pass by Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. We cover a distance of 100 astronomical units. An astronomical unit is the distance from Earth to the Sun. And here is the heliopause, the boundary of our solar system. Here, the speed of the solar wind decreases rapidly. First, it drops from 1 million kilometers per h to the speed of sound. Then, there's a layer called the heliopause. This is where the solar wind practically disappears. After that, our spaceship encounters a shock front. This is where we feel the force of the interstellar wind colliding with the boundary of our solar system. Once we pass this boundary, you find yourself in the darkness of interstellar space. And there, you can find two objects created by humans to undertake this journey for the first time in history. Those are the spacecraft Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. Voyager 1 crossed that boundary in 2004 and Voyager 2 in 2007. These space probes discovered that the heliopause is not a perfect sphere around the Sun. Its southern boundary is closer to the Sun than the northern boundary by 10 astronomical units. We are now traveling in interstellar space and will soon reach a rock wall around the solar system. Another 200,000 astronomical units, and there it is. This rock wall is the Oort cloud. In reality, it's a collection of small objects orbiting our world. Scientists speculate that the Oort cloud might be the source of comets and asteroids that fall to Earth, but they are so sparse that we can fly through them. Now, we are in complete darkness. The Milky Way galaxy spans about 106,000 light years. Regular rockets would take billions of years to cover that distance. But you press the throttle to the maximum. You fly past stars and planets with finesse as if you're on a racetrack. And within a few minutes, you find yourself at the edge of the galaxy. There is no interstellar wind anymore. All you see are bright dots somewhere far away. They are enormous galaxies. We need to consult the map to find the way to the edge of this entire universe. You are here, near the Milky Way. It is a part of a galaxy cluster called the Laniakea Supercluster. But even this giant is just a small street in the big city. Zooming out, we find the Laniakea Supercluster in the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall. Thousands of galaxies on the map look like tiny dots. At maximum zoom, this is our entire observable universe. We think it's infinite, but there is evidence suggesting it has boundaries. The universe here is 10 billion light years away from our home. 
Even if you travel there at the speed of light, it takes twice the time since Earth was born until now. During that time, the sun will either fade away or explode like a supernova, destroying the entire solar system. If you could live that long and then return home, you wouldn't find our galaxy there anymore. A long time ago, it collided with the Andromeda galaxy and formed a larger entity. Fortunately, your spaceship can warp. Time for the journey actually only takes a few seconds. Congratulations on reaching your destination, the Eridanus Supervoid. Some scientists believe that this place is evidence that our universe collided with something large enough to leave such a massive scar. The Eridanus Supervoid is an empty and frigid space spanning a billion light years. If you view this emptiness as a bowl, it would contain at least 10,000 galaxies. It emerged after a colossal accident. An object collided with our universe from another. Yes, there might exist other universes. Imagine our entire universe as a giant bowl containing all observable galaxy clusters. There could be countless such bowls. They might be born in a grand explosion. These universes are not like ours. They may have galaxies and nebulae too, but these balls could also be parallel universes. Meaning, if you choose toast instead of sausages for breakfast, in another universe, your parallel self would choose sausages. Every choice in your life has entirely different outcomes in parallel universes. And, because choices are infinite, there could be countless parallel universes. Like a normal ball, our universe also has a wall near the Eridana supervoid. A long time ago, another cosmic bubble floated across our own. As they approached each other, their gravitational fields began to interact. The boundary walls of our bubble distorted and were pulled toward the other universe. Something similar happened on the other side. Subsequently, the walls of the universes came into contact but as these cosmic balls moved, the connection between them ceased. Other universes tore a substantial part of our universe. A frigid void formed at the point of collision, that is, the Eridanus supervoid. The key to traveling to another universe might lie within a black hole. Black holes are one of the most mysterious objects in the universe. They are so massive that they not only bend space, but also time. It's like placing a heavy stone on a net. The net will sag, and the closer you get to the stone, the more it bends. Once you are within the gravitational field of a black hole, you cannot escape it. We still don't know what truly resides at the center of a black hole. Some scientists speculate that white holes also exist. In theory, they should be created alongside black holes. Apart from color, they are entirely opposite to black holes. Nothing can get close to a white hole. Currently, there is no data on such objects, but the general theory suggests their existence. There is also a hypothesis that black holes could serve as gateways to another universe. When entering a black hole, you might emerge on the other side through a white hole's event horizon. You would cross the boundaries of universes and find yourself in an entirely different world. However, we lack clear evidence of the existence of white holes. In 2006, scientists discovered an unusual energy burst 1.6 billion light years away from Earth. This event was unique, unlike a supernova or the merger of two black holes. Some astronomers believe it could be the formation of a white hole, but due to instability, it was almost immediately destroyed. This process reminds us of the birth of our universe, the Big Bang. Scientists refer to that event as a mini Big Bang. 